Ah, a glass of Henri Jaillet. Its aroma is oaky with a hint of apricot, a rich yet delicate bouquet. And even though there are less than 12 bottles left in the world, it doesn't smell or taste as good as money. Ah, money, the sweetest lubricant in the universe. And when I think of sweetness and money, it's a challenge for me not to eventually land upon GE Capital. GE Capital is the financing arm of General Electric. Five years ago, GE Capital failed. They made enormous mistakes and they failed. But that was not the end of GE Capital because GE was bailed out by the US taxpayers to the tune of $100 billion. You see, GE Capital was considered too big to fail. That phrase is so five years ago. Nowadays, if you want to be among the most elite corporate citizens, you have to be classified a systemically important institution. And funnily enough, just the other day, GE Capital got that designation. And with that status comes the golden ticket of a whole new level of entree into Willy Wonka's profit with impunity factory. You see, systemically important translates to our wishes are your command. And how can you not smell and taste the money in that? And that's why it's so great to see GE amongst those elite corporate citizens who are actually getting to write the Obey Our Whims principle into the Trans-Pacific Partnership. I love this Trans-Pacific Partnership. If three experts can agree that a national law interferes with an expected profit stream by a corporation, then either the law goes or the taxpayer pays the corporation anyway. The TPP is the end game of corporate control of the planet. It will single-handedly demolish the practice of corporations having to obey laws in different countries or even pay attention to democratic principles. Sweet. Last century, GE was an iconic American brand that operated under the archaic concepts of national laws. But when the TPP is ratified, GE will now stand for genuinely elite. And the nation states are going to have to simply give way to successful corporations. And President Obama is the man behind our plan. All those voters who didn't know that they were actually voting for this. Enjoy your sour grapes.